Alberta's provincial election campaign is quick, just 28 days long, and there are 12 days left. And tonight, the debate moved on screen for the first and likely only televised leadership debate. Four candidates, leaders of the ruling NDP, the Alberta Party, the Liberal Party, the United Conservative Party, tried to shift the race in their favor. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Most of what Mr. Kenny has said in this, uh, in his presentation just now, is pure political theater. Fact the matter is, Albertans are still waiting for the pipeline. Wait a second, Kenny, Ottawa, really, I mean, you are in Ottawa, Ottawa, the day Kenny. he announced his Thank tanker ban, yeah, Premier, Thank you. you didn't raise a word of protest. You've Rachel Notley's NDP is fighting from behind tonight. Polls have narrowed, but she still trails Jason Kenney's United Conservative Party. But Notley did make the election call when Kenny was on the defensive. They are so desperate to talk about anything except the issues that matter most. Amid allegations, his bid to win the UCP leadership back in 2017 involved working with a so-called kamikaze candidate, whose sole purpose was to attack Kenny's main competitor, then drop out. That's something denied by Kenny and the UCP, but the RCMP and Alberta's election commissioner are looking into it. On top of that, two UCP candidates resigned for intolerant or white nationalist rhetoric online. And Kenny's under pressure to fire a third for recorded remarks described by many as homophobic. Kenny himself has been focused on the economy. Alberta's economic performance is expected to lag behind other provinces for 2019 before bouncing back next year. That means for some voters, Notley's record will put her on the defensive. The CBC's Rafi Bujakanian has been following the campaign and tonight's debate. Alberta. It began civilly enough, but the tone changed quickly. Mr. Kenny is not being forthright with Albertans. When Trailing in the polls, Rachel Notley was here to trade blows, not pleasantries. People on Mr. Kenny's leadership team, at the very least, cheated. Notley hit Kenny about his bid to win the UCP leadership race in 2017. And she also pointed to recent hateful comments by several UCP members. Two candidates have resigned. Kenny continues to stand by a third, saying he's apologized. Many uh, uh, of Mr. Kenny's candidates have views that are demeaning to women, uh, that are white supremacists, that are Islamophobic and anti-LGBTQ. For his part, Kenny tried to keep tonight's focus on the economy. It's propelled his political fortunes before the campaign even started. Alberta is still climbing out of a recession that's hung on for most of the NDP's rule. The energy sector still reeling from slumping oil prices. Calgary still got the highest urban unemployment rate in the country. That's what this debate and this election is about, getting people back to work. Now, the Premier just Mystic. once again trashed businesses and employers who actually create the jobs in our economy. Tonight, Notley and Kenny had a chance to show Albertans who they were as leaders, and that led to some clashes. If Mr. Kenny would cheat his own party members to have a chance at running to be Premier, what will he do to the people of this province to keep the job? A moment ago, the Premier just engaged in a drive-by smear against myself and our entire party. It's sad to see the Premier, so, you know, whenever she does this, it's because she's incapable of defending her failed economic record, the jobs crisis. Party fortunes can change fast. In 2012, the Wild Rose Party saw an election win slip through its fingers after a candidate said homosexuals would burn in a lake of fire. None of the parties in the race will have forgotten that recent lesson. Rafi Bujikan, on CBC News, Edmonton. We know, of course, polling is not an exact science, but it can give us a sense of which party voters seem to prefer. And according to CBC's poll tracker, which pulls together data from several surveys, the United Conservative Party has had a commanding and consistent lead over the NDP since long before the election was called last month. Since then, it's narrowed from about 15 points to 10. The Alberta and Liberal parties, both polling well under 10%, you can find the poll tracker with details on its sources and methodology on cbcnews.ca.